Hello world and welcome to Charlotte, North Carolina. We're at the Bojangles Coliseum today for a Charlotte Checkers game. And I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna do a video showing everybody what this experience is like in case they're coming here for the first time. Um, they are an AHL team and they are affiliated with the Florida Panthers, not the Carolina Hurricanes. But I can like both, right? It's not illegal. <laughs> Anyways, let's go have some fun. I just realized that I mentioned it was the Charlotte Checkers and that they were AHL, but I don't know if everybody knows this, but they are a hockey team. I definitely suggest coming out here and seeing a hockey game. If you're on the fence about seeing, about liking hockey, you gotta experience this. It is a ton of fun. Now, AHL is like kind of like the minor leagues to NHL, but they put on a good show. This is a really fun experience, and you're about to see why I say that. Right here is the main entrance up front, but they do have a side entrance over here that they've been letting people also go through. And the line is much shorter if you go over here. So let's head that way. And here it is right across that bridge. You'll see that sign and it is to the right of the entrance. Not too far. I mean, I'd say maybe like 30, 40 feet from the main entrance. So it's not that far away. You don't have a huge walk or anything. All right, we checked in here and we're headed over to the Bojangles Coliseum. We do have an auditorium behind me called Ovens Auditorium, but we're headed the opposite direction to the uh, Coliseum. That's where the hockey team plays. And let me just say, the restrooms that you see on your left here are really good restrooms. They're usually a lot less crowded, so if you got little kids or something, I definitely suggest coming towards section 113, coming towards the Ovens Auditorium and using those restrooms. All right, we just left that walkway over there where Osman's Auditorium is, and we're going to head down because we have reservations to go to a um, restaurant they have down here called the, the Red Line what? The Red Line Club. You make online reservations. I'll try to put a link or something to more information about that downstairs, but the players kind of walk through the Red Line Club, and this is not it, so I made a mistake. we got to go to another little dip in the area. So this is not where you is, but you do have Hungry Howie's Pizza with some things here, some snacks and all. Let's go find the Red Line Club. So they sent us down this little hallway to come to another little dip over here. And this is where the Red Line Club is. And we're gonna have dinner here. And then the players are gonna walk through to uh, go to the ice. So we get to kind of see them up close and personal. And there it is, Red Line Club in the bottom left. And I just wanted to show you that is near section 119 to 121 so i learned from my mistake go straight to section 119 and go down these stairs and you'll be right there at the red line club you can have some food here's a quick menu scan look at the food look at the prices i can't guarantee they're all going to stay exactly the same but you can pause the video right now if you want to look at a, look at it a little bit better There's where we came in. Look how awesome this scenery is here. They, they won the Calder Cup, which is like the Stanley Cup for AHL in 2019. So they have a nice mural there. I'm gonna zoom in on it for you. And here's what the restaurant looks like. The players are gonna come through right there. I don't know if you can see, but the, hur the Hurricanes, dear look, the checkers emblem is right above where they walk out. And there is a bar back there. So I've never uh, had this experience at the Red Line Club before, but we're doing it now. Let's see what it's like. Here come the players. See, I told you they walked right through the Red Line Club, right underneath this logo that still kind of represents the Hurricanes because it's holding the storm flag. <laughs> if you notice, that storm flag has been removed off of their jersey logo. I guess they haven't removed it here yet. But... Come on, checkers. Let's go, checkers. I got the chubby burger with fries, and this is what it looks like. It doesn't look half bad. I'm gonna give her a taste and see what I think. I'm trying to make it out there for the pregame show, and I passed the um, the merch stand here, 
So that is right next to section 119 if you want to come buy a t-shirt or something. And here is the Charlotte Checkers venue, the Bojangles Coliseum. The ice is out there. Their mascot is skating. His name is Chubby. He makes laps around here, at least one lap per game to meet all of the kids. While I'm at it, I wanted to tell you how good the food was at the Red Line Club. Let me tell you, my burger was great. It was really good. Cooked perfectly, had a good taste to it. I would go back there again, especially to meet the players. That was a nice little addition to it. Now they play Seek and Destroy by uh, Metallica here. I'm probably gonna have to mute it and put some generic music with it. There's pre-game, and now they're getting ready to drop the puck and start up the actual game. Somebody jumped. <laughs> there we go, right there. They dropped the puck, and the game has started. Now, the Charlotte Checkers are usually a pretty good team, but for whatever reason, the Hershey Bears have put it on them. They had a crazy game yesterday where they lost and where the Checkers lost, and their first shot on goal was a goal just now. So usually, you know, expect a pretty decent team out on the ice, but I don't know what's going on with these Hershey Bears tonight. First period's over with, and I think I'm gonna take you all outside and show you some of the food places that you can get some food at. If you go downstairs to these little places to get food, the lines are usually a lot shorter. They have these little bars set up all around the Coliseum, and they even have some like specialty snacks over here. Now they got those, see how big the line is for this? You can go downstairs and pretty much walk right up to the counter. But um, yeah, they've got these little food kiosks here with like pretzels and funnel cake fries and dipping Dots and stuff. The, all of this is scattered all around the Coliseum, not just here. Now, pretty much all over the place, they have these restrooms like this that you see right there. But some of the sections that go downstairs also have restrooms. And again, it's much less crowded if you can find one of them that goes downstairs. All right, all right that mostly does it for food. Just remember that those things are scattered all around the Coliseum, not just in the place that I showed you. Very similar kind of food as to what was on this video, but we're about to start up the second period. It is the first intermission. Here they come out for the second period, tied up 1-1. One, one. one thing that I like about this place is like very personable. I was doing the um, chicken dance and me and my daughter made it up on the Jumbotron like literally just a little while ago. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Looks like Chubby is making his rounds for the kids to come up and meet him. He will like take a picture with you and say hey to the kids and stuff. So if you got a little one, make sure you watch out for that because they love Chubby. Woo! I also want to make note that every Wednesday is Dollar Beer Day. So if you want to come in and uh, drink beer, then you know Wednesday is a cheap day to do that. 
if you don't want to deal with people who show up to drink beer, Wednesday might not be a good day to come. You might want to consider another day because it is very popular for beer drinkers. They got the Zambonis out. You see those people right there, that woman in that gray shirt? She is not an actual Zamboni driver. She just showed up to watch the game. So um, I don't know how they do it, to be honest with you, but you can ride on the Zambonis. You might want to ask about that when you get here. All right, if you go to section 128, you're going to see like a Charlotte legend, a Charlotte area legend right here. Greasy King. Definitely stop by and say hey to him. He has merch and he gives kids stickers and things, and he is a very nice guy. So definitely say hey to him in section 128. now because we just hit a goal right at the end of the game to tie it up. Now we're going into overtime and everyone is jazzed up. This place is on fire. Not literally. You know what I mean. Overtime just ended and it's still tied up so we're going to head to a shootout. Wow. game skate today but you had to bring your own skates they did this last time and let you rent skates out on the ice but not this time so i don't really know you know what dates they do have rental skates and what days they don't but it is really fun we actually skated laps around here one day and had a blast it is a really good opportunity so i definitely suggest checking to see if the game you're coming to has a post game skate maybe considering skating all right y'all it's the end of the game and i came over here like i told you earlier to talk to greasy keys this dude is an amazing organist oh, so super much. happy to have you here good musician too you thanks just don't so just much. play organ right you no, play a bunch of play a little bit of everything and uh, always glad to entertain the folks here in section 127 so come out to a game and Come hang out in the grease pit. Definitely do that. He has an Instagram too. Do you have anything else? Facebook? Facebook, yeah. Instagram, Twitter. Those are my three social media sites. Uh, greasy all on the Greasy Keys. Keys the yep, there you go. Okay. Come see him. Yeah. All right, y'all. That is it for the video. I hope I covered everything you needed to know to come out here and see what a Charlotte Checkers game was like. Maybe give you a few hints on having a good time here. So I am going to end this video and I just want to say. Thanks for watching and thanks for playing. Bye.